Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2 and we have an update, not a giant update, but enough of an update to make a video on. It isn't tiny like the uh, Pluto one, um, it actually does a few things. So first off, moons look different, at least two of them, Sedna and Ganymede. So let's check those out very quickly if we go into add moons. And here's one. Oh, that does actually look much, much better. Coolness. And we are also looking for Setna, which is somewhere. No. Um, Setna, no, you're there somewhere because you're in the thing. Wait, what the heck? Oh, maybe... Oh, it's not actually in the moons. Okay, that's fine, because we found it. Your Sedna, it does look a lot more high resolution than it was before. So, we will consider that a good thing. And let's go on to the more exciting stuff. Such as, Earth City lights have been changed, which... I'm not sure if that means... I'm pretty sure that's only Earth, but... Maybe they tweaked the other ones secretly. Probably not, though. Oh, yeah. They look a lot cleaner now. Um, and more realistic. I'm actually liking that. Looks like the background I have on my computer at school. Ew. We have Max at school. It's disgusting. But they have high enough resolution that having a giant uh, wallpaper of Earth uh, it does look pretty cool. I'll give them that. that that's what Macs are good for wallpapers hear that Steve Jobs wallpapers oh man I wonder if the city lights will come back after also if you're an Apple fan don't hate me but this you know if you're a gamer uh, Macs don't really work you know what I mean like nothing supports them literally nothing okay maybe a few things oh yeah the lights are not there now that it has been hit by a meteor. I think I've wiped out several cities. There is a, it looks like just someone took a bite out of the United States, so it's okay. And what else do we have? Change, fix the appearance of rocky planets affected by supernova. Okay. Okay. Well, let's check that out. We will grab a star. which will just be the sun and then we will grab a planet which we will use spook booper for this because why not and if we put spook booper out of it and then supernova the sun don't worry you may have frozen a tiny bit there but it's oh shoot you're heating up very quickly spook booper I am very sorry about that it's okay though because it's not really going to change the outcome of this experiment. And so the supernova is hitting Spook Vooper and Spook Vooper is um well not not much is happening I'll be honest. Oh well, now it's been evaporated, complete, well, vaporized, and it's just made a line of vape. Not, not that kind of vape, but yeah, vaporization, a line of it all the way down. And this is moving out, if I can actually click on a piece, there we go. This is moving, oh shoot, there we go. This little particles move. No! I keep losing them. Why? Ah! Spook Wooper. Shoot. This is very hard to keep track of. These are moving at. <laughs> um. Speed. 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 Question mark. Velocity. 
50 kilometers per second, which is actually pretty slow compared to light speed. I just wanted to see how fast it was going. That was a little bit more complicated than I thought it would be. And... Whoa, that was kind of loud there. I don't know what I did, but my voice just went, woo! And let's go on to... Hmm... It appears they have changed Rosh Fragmentation, so... Jeez, my pronunciation game is off right now. I am very sorry. But we will just plop down a black hole and plop down Earth and see for ourselves. How you doing, Earth? I'm just going to slow things down. And... Okay. What's gonna happen? Okay, like before, we do have a bunch of rocks being thrown out. Oh, they're kind of being spread out more now. Before, they didn't loop around like this as much. So, yeah, I can actually see the difference in how the particles are behaving. Miraculously, none of them have re-hit Earth. And poor Earth is now actually being hit by its own projectiles. Earth is now dying, and it's left behind, well, pretty much a ring. Um, if we turn off trails and labels, we can see that there's now this ring going very quickly around the black hole. And <coughs> <coughs> I'm dying. And it's going very quickly, and it will be going like that forever. Oh, it'll cool down. No, it won't. It's actually going to stay pretty warm because of the Rosh limit. So it's just going to, it's just going to keep going around and around and around forever. Sad story. Okay, so I think that's everything that's new, but it has a click to see full list. So, I'm clicking to see the full list. Huh, currently I'm the only- Oh no, there are four other people looking at the list right now. Uh, graphic improvements... Uh... Oh, the moon! The moon actually had a change. Not just those moons, our moon. Okay, uh, that- that's- that's quite a change. Look at its high resolution glory. <laughs> um, if I can turn this down. Oh, shoot. No, stop. There we go. Now we can see it spin. And, yeah, it looks pretty nice. GG. The moon is now 100% more moonish. And, let's see, is there anything new other than that? Higher resolution textures for the moon and Earth's city lights. Ganymede now uses an image-based texture. Senna is now red instead of randomly colored. Improved accuracy of crater sizes. Improved lighting for Juno model. Improved planet shading. Crisper normals. Smoother color gradients. And subtle rim lighting. Whoa. Um, let's see how much of a change this has had on one of our planets. Let's just grab Spook Vooper and see if it looks any different. I'm not sure if it's going to be like a noticeable improvement. But, actually, yeah, I can see there is more of a gradient now in places like the mountains. It is blending more. It's a little bit less sharp. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. I give them props for that. It does not look as, uh... Kind of looks like the snow's kind of melting at the edge of the mountains now. We. Oh, shoot. I wish I could turn. I, I think turning may be a thing, but I just... I, I'm, I'm horrible at this. Um, 
Never played this game before, obviously. I have no clue what I'm doing. This would make a really good thumbnail right here. Uh, yeah, let, I, I just took a picture of that because that's a great thumbnail. Improved, uh, improved fragment rendering, many minor improvements to graphics performance. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of fixes. I'm not even going to read through those. But, for the most part, that's what's been changed and fixed. So, let's do a few collisions and see if a lot of these collision changes, such as craters and the fragments and stuff, let's see if we can actually notice a difference. Um, and, goodbye Earth. It was nice knowing you. Also, Spook Vooper, great knowing you too. Wonder who named you. Great name. 10 out of 10 name. And actually, it wasn't me, it was x -Bomb. Oh! The fragments, I can't actually see. They're actually a bit more detailed than before. They aren't all orange. They actually have... And boom. See, so yes, the fragments do actually look nicer than before. Whoa! What was that? Look at that fragment. It's giant. Sorry, Spook Vooper. Well, let's see what happens with the crater now, because it said it's more realistic. Although Spook Vooper seems to be vaporizing right now, so... We're going to fix that. Um, shoot, it got, it, it, it stole Earth's oceans, which means that it is now just a giant ball of water. So we're going to decrease the water level a bit. Hey, it's Spook Vooper. And let's look for the crater. I'm not sure if we'll be able to see it, but, um... Oh, I never knew you could do that. Oh, with the cross section, you can move it. That's great. I've never actually done that before. Oh, it's so cool. Just in a missing part of the planet. But using this, we can look for the crater a lot more easily than another spot. And I don't know. It's kind of hidden. I mean... I'm sure if we get rid of the water, we'll be able to see it, so... Let's look at this now. And what do we have? We have... Oh, I see a bump here. Um... I see a lot of bumps. Oh, there's the crater. That must be it, because I can't find anything else. Yeah, that, that, that's the crater. <laughs> no, I, I actually can't find it. It's just, it, there's so many different pieces of debris hit Spook Pooper that I don't think we're ever going to find the exact spot of the crater. But, you know, it was an attempt. And we can just give it a little bit of water again. Wow, I'm really bad at this. And let's just, you know... Oh shoot, this isn't actually going to be that bad of a battle. Quickly, increase the iron to shrink Neptune. Oh my. Well, did not expect that to happen. Now a giant block of iron is hitting Spook... Wait a second. <laughs> Okay, first off, this is a much better picture than that uh, the other one for uh, the thumbnail. So let's just grab this while we're at it. And at the same time, Spook Wooper became a gas giant for a second there. Wait, did Neptune just go through? Wait, what just happened? Wait. What the heck? 
Neptune just stole all of Spook Booper's mass. That's not even fair. How dare you do that, Neptune? Wow. Well, that's low. But we are going to see that the planets start going towards each other again from the... There are the only things with the gravitational pulls in the area. So if we go millions of years into the future... Um... Y you're gonna come back now, Neptune. No? Well, I, I guess not. We are going uh, very, very fast, actually. Um. Well, rip. Spook Vooper has been robbed, literally, of pretty much half of itself. That's like if someone just came in and stole both of your arms and walked away. Not only walked away, just like ran really fast away. So, yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> well, guys, I will see you all next time. I will have the little uh, survey thing in the description from last video if you didn't check it out before. It actually has a lot of stuff in it, including one of the best time to stream is and stuff. And if you're interested in me starting another series, I was looking at Spore. Such a good game. <laughs> Um, I am going to be ending the Space Engineer series probably this week with the final episode, and I'm thinking about restarting another series. More Space Engine will be coming soon. Lots of stuff happening. We'll see. We'll see. Just, you know, suggest things in the comments. I'll read it, decide what the best course of action is. And I will see you all next time. Oh, that's not the correct button.